All right, man, so Raccoon Digi dropped us yet another notice. So let's go ahead and read this. In order to give you a richer gaming experience, we plan to conduct a no downtime update on July 29th. So we don't have to wait until the first for a lot of these changes to come through. I think the only changes we'll have to wait for is the clothing sets and the skins. We might not have to wait for the skins, but I'm pretty sure we'll have to wait for the clothing sets and the new character. So we'll be getting that stuff on the first, but everything outside of that, I'm pretty sure that's coming on the 29th. Uh, not sure how many days that is away from right now. So let's go ahead and read this. <laughs> uh, new season resources, new player, a center by the name of Andrew makes a strong debut. He is a proud and powerful street leader. Andrew has a strong performance on defense with exclusive skills, intimidation block, quick pick and roll, taunt, and rapid rebound. On defense, he can effectively lower the opponent's shooting percentage, grab the ball smoothly after a block, and even taunt the opponent to directly lower their shooting percentage. He is a very formidable opponent, obtainable through flash sale early access, or player debut events so we got new skins as well so we got a new andrew skin by the name of beach party we can't look at that just yet we got another new skin for black crow by the name of night hunter and it's obtainable through limited time events so you will not be able to just straight out buy this with your rubies and we also got a new skin that didn't give names though i'm pretty sure it's like a skin set so think about the clown set we got from the last update this is going to be something similar they just didn't give us any specifics so the people that are going to be getting this skin is going to be alto marcus randy david and silver wolf so all those characters are gonna have access to this skin still have no idea what it looks like yet though <laughs> so new clothing sets we got mechanical spider suit great swordsman suit and they're gonna be available for a limited time inside of an event we got new scoring shows boboji pr probably butchered that i butcher a lot of names <laughs> uh tap dance and they're gonna be available for purchase in the backpack action interface and we got new diable skins we got gentleman senior pretty gentleman tornado boy surf boy hot girl real hot girl <laughs> barbarian b storm legend of pride businessman and schoolgirl. Uh, on, on previous updates they put the names next to these skins uh, i'm not gonna dig through characters trying to figure out which skins go to who so if you own these characters you know you have that skin rejoice man because they're gonna be diable coming soon here on the 29th so now we got the most hype part of every single update. We got the balance adjustments and the biggest one of them all, we got Big O at the top of the list, something we have been begging for for literal years. Big O finally got a rework. So let's go ahead and read this. Skill adjustments, wise layup, which is obviously double pump layup, was switched to layup dunk. And we don't have any idea what that is. I asked Malorius, even he said he doesn't really have any idea, uh, but we both took a wild guess and he was guessing layup pass. Well, not the regular layup pass, but the smart layup pass like Albert, the one that can do an alley-oop. And I was thinking uh, smart dunking pass, just like Edward, that can do an alley-oop. It simply just makes sense. And if this is something new, I'm hyped to see what it actually is. So specialized pass was replaced with enhanced rebound and his attribute adjustments were uh, changed. So instead of giving close shot inside of his stats, he's going to be given dunk and uh rebound i'm pretty sure he was given rebound already but he was probably like an a or an a plus in rebound but it's s now and he got dunk a plus instead of layup and i think that's the same pass that he had from before so we're moving on to uncle kevin skill adjustment his powerful flick was changed to block avoiding so if you don't know what block avoiding is it's that ability lightning uses when he gets blocked and he ends up shooting the ball instead of it getting swatted so alto skill adjustment quick hook was changed to lightning dunk i'm not sure how big of a difference this will make on alto but the only weakness that he had was the only scoring ability he had inside the paint was a quick hook and it wasn't really that good uh it had a faster shooting speed than most hook shots but it was still easier to block than most hook shots it just didn't make very much sense because he has a quick hook and sarah's hook shot is firing at a much faster speed than him once again simply did not make sense and i feel like this lightning dunk is going to push him more towards the meta because he now has an option to score that ball quickly before the opposing bigs can get in there so we're moving on to greta and julian the drift shot mid-range base hit rate was increased from 75 percent to 95 percent that is a substantial increase man <laughs> that is only a five percent accuracy decrease on the drift shots from greta and julian if you were missing those before i can guarantee you it will be very difficult to miss them now so lightning and uncle kevin block uh block avoiding was nerfed from 90 percent hit rate to 70 percent hit rate so the triggering probability was not affected 
only the hit rate so you went from a 90 percent accuracy to 70 percent accuracy 20 percent less chance to make that shot after you get blocked so andrew's level four is intimidation and after each block he's going to additionally reduce the opponent's resistance by five points stacking up to four times so it's going to go up to 20 percent that's beautiful man so ranger's getting a new level four his grabbing block is gonna uh, get a level four and it's gonna just basically do the same thing as everyone else 20 percent extra chance to activate very exciting raccoon digi i don't know how you came up with this brand new exciting idea for rangers level four and daisuke is getting level four uh, dunk blocking pass we all knew this was coming there's nothing else inside of this kit that they could give a level four without completely breaking him because if they did it for the um what is it called uh, explosive block he will be way too strong especially if they ended up buffing the triggering probability he will be way too strong on locking down the paint so they had to go for the dunk blocking pass and it does the same thing at level four as the shot blocking pass you just get 10 percent extra chance for it to activate and your teammates get 15 percent extra accuracy during the assisting time so other adjustments performance optimization the glowing effect of luminous skins is now only effective on the character model itself i think what they're saying is you're no longer going to get the die effect on your clothing set so i got the magic carp set on my may right now and i also have an orange aura die on my may and so it's probably not going to show the orange aura around the magic carp pieces anymore i actually liked how that looks so i'm hoping that's not what it actually is so insufficient items for opening gift packs can now be redirected to purchase uh, i guess if you don't have enough keys they're going to redirect you to where you can buy keys you want people to buy stuff so bad raccoon digi Wanted to buy stuff so bad, make everything affordable. All right, so now we got fixes. General scoring show configuration hides players, but the client still displays the player issue. Uh, no idea what they're talking about. So fix Yui's pass trigger simultaneously triggering precision long pass plus alley-oop, causing the ball to stick. Uh, never had that issue, but I also barely ever use my Yui these days. Fix player status error. Uncle Kevin appears holding the ball after a back pass. I'm assuming that means he's passing backwards. Uh, fix Natalie's pass where the ball sticks until the offensive time runs out. What? Her layup pass was bugged. I didn't even know it was bugged. Uh, fix Marcus being unable to pass or shoot after getting the ball. Haven't been seeing that either. Uh, fix the remaining time error for seven day trial uh, costumes. So I guess there was a time error that was given the wrong amount of time. But if they were... They fixed it, so rejoice, man. So fix the ball status and position display error during matches. I don't have any idea what they're talking about on most of this stuff, if we're being honest. Uh, fix the issue where when the opponent uses self-throw, self-dunk, and exits and re-enters the game, the defender cannot see the ball and cannot block. What? That was a thing? Like, people were leaving in the middle of a toss-up dunk so that they could cheat their way up the ladder. If that's true, that is crazy, bro. Y'all want this ELO so bad. <laughs> Y'all are willing to cheat for it. That's crazy, man. Uh, enhance player performance and matches and improve player control experience. And they also fix other known issues. Those other known issues typically are like bugs that are linked to level fours. Like I remember Kiang had the bug on his level four on the rapid dribble move. After you did the, uh, not the cut dribble move, <laughs> but the freaking turnaround step back at the end of it, uh, he would get stuck for like a whole second. And if you got ankles after the crossover, then they'd be able to recover before you were even able to move with the ball. And it was ridiculous. They didn't list it inside the fixes, but it was fixed. So if, if there's any bugs on any characters you're using and they didn't put it on this list, uh, on the 29th go ahead and check make sure that they fixed it because sometimes it's under this category of other known issues so all right man this is the update personally i'm the most hyped about the big old changes because even though he no longer has access to a pinpoint pass i'm 100 sure that this enhanced rebound will help him out at least a little bit if it doesn't help him snatch rebounds more consistently over taller defenders and better rebounders it will certainly strengthen his flick because you get rebound height you get rebound distance you get rebound priority from that enhanced rebound so big old now has a stronger flick better at rebounds he's not going to be better than amy though he's not going to be better than emma he's definitely not going to be better than someone like vanessa or rocket uh, he's not a rebounding base character but he can rebound now kind of like sarah she's not a rebound base character but she can rebound through the use of her enhanced rebound and quick rebound so all right man i'm gonna wrap this video up uh, go ahead and drop inside the comments what you're most excited about for this update that's it now catch you on the next one